All right, hello everyone. Here we are back for another tutorial. Now this is yet another perspective on this hole. What I'm going to recommend that you do is probably take driver off the middle fairway, especially with the POC 5. Uh, this is actually an interesting match because this is one of the only fair matches I've had in this entire setup. Um, um, I've been playing against the POC 7s and it makes it very, very challenging in this tour. But uh, as I was mentioning, um, you guys saw me do this uh, you know, on one of the other holes, we're going to go at least kind of plus 30%, maybe even plus 40%. Um, I may only go plus 30% in this situation um, because of, ooh, that's actually really good. So that's going to be hard to beat. Any Anytime you hit that fairway, that's exactly what you're trying to do. So I am going to go plus 30% here and use my max club number as well. And, uh, you know, it's going to come down to my curl as to how, you know, getting this in place with the pr proper curl. And as I mentioned, you know, as you saw my opponent hit the fairway there, I'm going to have to similarly hit this fairway uh, to give myself a very good chance. So I'm going to rotate this other way. It might just make ring adjustments just slightly more easy, at least for the first half. This is a very, very hard shot. As you can see, ring adjustment wise, it's very, very challenging. So there's 12 and we're going to need to definitely curl it. Didn't want that great ball. Let's just see how it comes in. I got the fairway, so I might win this if it holds up. Looks like it's not. Looks like I, look, look, looks like I didn't quite get it over on the uh, side of the fairway enough. Um, had I hit it a little bit more on the angle, it would have went fed towards the hole. And you can see that uh, my opponent just gets it, edges it out by a yard. So maybe with a perfect ball, I would have had it, uh, you know, less on a side hill. If I would have hit my perfect ball, it might have landed more centered in that fairway and would have maybe cut harder. So um, what your goal is to do is to get that second ball. Um, if you guys have watched a couple of my tutorials, you do want to get that second hop on the fairway. So that's what you're basically using as your guide as to how many rings, well, of, of how to actually set up for that shot. You can see I was going very max on my backspin and just trying to get that second bounce in position, keeping in mind wind effect. You know, if it's downwind, mine was a little bit of a tailwind, so I might be keeping it a little bit shorter. And you got to avoid from getting it launching too long. If you land that second hop on the green, it is going to go well over the green. So you got to do be very careful with that uh, second hop. Good luck with that hole, guys, and catch you guys later.